Hi, welcome to Can Innovate, the first ever podcast focused purely on Canadian innovation. My name is Sapna Malhotra, your proud Canadian host and all fired up. Why am I doing this? What has me so passionate about this? First, I was listening to a UK radio station that was chatting about Drake, discussing how he bought a little UK production studio and how his career started in acting in an American TV show. I was like, what? Wait, hold up. Canadian. It was a Canadian show called Degrassi. Drake is all about Canada. And here again is another example of how something that is great, that is Canadian, gets mistaken as American on a global stage. Then I was browsing on Facebook and one of those ads popped up saying, love Canada. And I was like, oh, I love Canada. So I started to look at the merchandise when I read the small print. Orders fulfilled and shipped from the US and UK. Are we so humble and modest that others see it as an opportunity? And in looking at the comments and shares from Canadians on the Facebook page, it seems to indicate that we are missing something, that we want to toot our own horn. Then I met up with one of my favorite Canadian mentors after living abroad internationally for many years, and I was really excited to hear what was kind of really cool on the Canadian landscape and what other Canadians were doing. And he politely said to me, Sapna, there is no Canadian innovation. And a few others have shared the same sentiment with me since. All of these things truly just hit a nerve. If our own Canadians don't think that we have Canadian innovation, then we will continue to have a global perception that all great Canadian things are American, or that other countries can take the opportunity to exploit Canadians because we're so humble and modest. So this has become my mission, to prove my mentor wrong, that we do have Canadian innovation. Canada has some of the brightest minds. I mean, if you look at Canadian brain drain, that's been happening for as long as I can remember. And we know that business innovation requires diversity as it provides a new range of insight. Now, just look at all the boards these days that are trying to make sure that the board of directors are actually come from a very diverse background. So the math really doesn't add up. We have a highly educated and talented workforce, a cultural mosaic, a commitment to diversity and inclusion. So what's missing? Perception. I've been consulting globally for, well, let's just say 10 plus years. Emphasis on the plus, because I'm not ready to give away my age just yet. And I've worked with some of these top tier clients, helping them change the mindset of both within and outside their organization. And the first step in changing perception is awareness. I really believe that education awareness is instrumental in overcoming any obstacle and perception challenges both globally and locally in Canada. So this podcast is for those that want to be more aware and support Canadian innovation. For those Canadian innovators that are looking for support, whether it's from the government or other sources, what do they need in order to be successful? What can Canada do to help support them better? For those VCs and investors looking for the next unicorn, I'm convinced it's someplace on the Canadian soil. Those that are looking for new partners, it's a great time to partner with Canadian companies. With Brexit and all the other political factors that are happening around the world, Canada is looking brighter and shinier than ever. And this is just simply for the Canadians that just want to be more aware of Canadian companies and perhaps even buy locally. So, who's with me? You, me, 30 minutes and a cup of coffee each week as we explore the Canadian landscape and toot the horn for all Canadian innovators. And of course, to prove my mentor wrong. And let's show the world that we can innovate, eh? So hit subscribe, tell your friends, share some thoughts, nominate a Canadian innovator. This is our podcast, and I'm really excited to start this journey with you. So we'll talk soon, and I can't wait to hear from you. Cheers.